Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I will be showing you like what's in my tackle and I'll give you some tips for how to use them and this is like all the stuff that I always use that I think is best. Okay, so starting off is my Fluger presidential rod and reel combo and that is the Fluger reel and that is the Cabela's tourney trail rod. This rod and reel combo is really good. I like it and I got it for a good price. And I have my popper on right now. Okay, so next we have my drone for making clips of overhead, like views of fishing and stuff. Then we have the zoom um bay to snow one of those. Okay. But this is a square bill and these are really good. They're actually kind of cheap too. You can get them for like five or five to three dollars, depending where you go. But these are made, you can see the square bill. These are made to like go through the weeds and not get tangled in the weeds. So that's why I like them. Then we have this power bait. They're kind of like a fake, like a fake minnow, a fake minnow. Then we have a uh, another jig. This is like one of the better jigs that I use, and. I catch bass on this, mainly bass, largemouth, and smallmouth. Really anything that you put it in front of will probably take it. And we have another jig. This one is probably going to be for bigger fish, like a bigger bass or a bigger largemouth. Because you can see it's kind of big. And their mouths could probably get it to like right there. Which, the hook is right there, but it would be kind of hard to hook them. Then we have the frog. I love using frogs. I don't know why. I just love using these things. I like top water baits for really anything. I catch largemouth, mainly largemouth, some smallmouth. But... Then we have another jig, and this works, this is like my favorite jig. But, again, northern bass, big perch, if you can find them, maybe it would take that. Kind of represents a crayfish. And if you want to catch like little fish, use like a little jig like this this works really good that's mainly what I use then we have a tube you just slide it right up there but these work good for pre-spawn stuff like let them drop down if you have rock piles or something around you let them like drop down there jig it up down Something will come and eat it. Then we have fly stuff. Fly rod and reel. Scientific angler. Um, more flies. Then we have more baits. And in here my favorites would probably be this for bats. This popper. This for like jigging for, or this for trolling for walleye, northern, big bass, and this popper. If you have a popper, I would recommend not using it like right now, but later on in like fallish type conditions, yeah, that's when you should probably use them because I don't know, just that's when I get most of my bites. 
But more trolling things. Oh, how did you get in there? Here, not really. And this one looks good as this for trolling for bass or northern or walleye. It's like one of the best ones. What's it called? I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty good. Then we have, oh, these might be my favorite jokes. Let me get them out real quick. Here, I'll get you a used one. So, this is what it will look like when it's being used. I put a weight on it, but you don't have to. Um, just kind of represents a fish swimming. Good for spawning season, like make it drop down like onto their beds to make them get mad and just go like, totally yank it. And finally we have my newest bait, the fake sunfish. Floats at the top of the water, was like, then when the fish bites it, it goes like that, then the hooks are exposed, and then you can hook it. Works good for largemouth and smallmouth, and northern, if a northern season will go for it. I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. See ya.